We'll be going over how to connect a secure I.O. to a reader as well as add and configure it in Biostar 1. You'll first want to connect your secure I.O. to your reader. To determine which wires from your reader to use, please refer to the reader's installation guide. Links to installation guides can be found in the description. For example, I'm using a BioNTW. To connect the reader to your secure I.O., we'll use RS-485 cables whose names contain either 485 or TRX. In my case, cable 12 corresponds to TRX+, cable 11 to TRX-, and cable 13 to TRX ground. Next, I'll want to give my secure I.O. power. Be sure to use a 12 volt power source. Connect the red wire to power plus and the black wire to power minus. On the secure I.O., you should see the power light up red and run should be blinking green. As well, you should see RX and TX blinking quickly. This means that the secure I.O. is receiving from and transmitting to the reader. You now have the option to attach up to two relays and up to four inputs that you can configure in Biostar. To add your secure I.O. in Biostar, first click on the device tab. Find the device that your secure I.O. is connected to and click on its network tab. Look under serial setting and ensure that the mode is host. Click apply to save this setting. Next, find your device in the device pane, right click and click add device serial. Click next. Biostar will now search for your device. Once it is found, select it and click next. Check the box under device ID, click add and then finish. To configure your secure I.O., first click on the Doors tab. Click on the door that is using your device. Ensure that the door's I.O. device is the one that is connected to your secure I.O. You now have three options for door relay. Direct connection from the device, as well as the two relays on your secure I.O. If you select either of the secure I.O. relays, the exit button and door status menus will allow the secure I.O.'s inputs to be selected. Ensure that the switch types are correctly configured for your exit button and door sensor. Also ensure that you have connected your maglock or strike to the correct port. Only either normally closed or normally open should be connected, based on the type of lock or strike that you have. If this configuration is correct and you have a maglock or door strike connected, you can view the status of the door from the monitoring tab. If your lock is normally open, when the door relay is on, the door will be locked. If it is normally closed and the door relay is on, it will be unlocked. When the relay is on, the corresponding light should light red on your secure I.O. To unlock or lock your door, use the buttons at the top of the tab. When you unlock or lock your door, the status of the relay should change and you should hear a click from your secure I.O. If your relay light isn't changing when you unlock or lock your door and you don't hear a click, you'll want to reset your secure I.O. First, check the real-time monitoring tab to see if anything unusual is going on. When relays aren't working, you will often see relays being fired every second. This means that your secure I.O. and reader are out of sync. You might also notice on your secure I.O. that the lights for RX and TX are blinking twice at a time instead of blinking constantly. Hold down the reset button for 3 seconds, and then hold down the sync button for 3 seconds. Once you do this, you should hear a chime on your reader. This means that it is in sync with the secure I.O. The relay, TX, and RX lights should be working properly, and the unlocking and locking abilities should be restored. 